wanted to set out to invent a new product. I wanted to be a famous inventor in the UK, in London. And someone came up to me and said to me, if you invent a non-drip teapot, you'll make it. And I was like, really? A non-drip teapot? Is that really a problem for, for people? And the more I researched it, the more I realized that actually, for the last 50 years, there's been scientists, engineers, and designers trying to solve the problem of dripping teapots. They are seriously considering transmitting energy from space using a laser or microwave technology. So you would have solar cells up on the moon, solar panels, massive areas collecting sunlight non-stop and beaming it down to Earth. We are working on an idea of a swallowable pill for gut analysis. So you can swallow this pill, it'll go through the gut, and it will, it will wirelessly communicate to a personal digital assistant or a mobile phone that the doctor has in order to determine what's the condition of the gut. And this is much easier than you having to go into hospital and get a laparoscopy or a gastroscopy. In fact, here's one that I swallowed yesterday. I'm joking, they're disposed of carefully. Okay, hey guys, how's things? Um, okay, I'm Sheila. I'm a third year mechanical engineering student in B. Um, I'm going to speak today about energy, the challenges and the opportunities available in the energy sector. So where do you guys come in? Many of you do science. Really good, that's cool. Uh, my name is John Kirby and I'm also an um, engineering student in UCD. I'm an electrical engineering student and I was a member of Energy Needs Ireland as well. So as Sheila mentioned to you, uh, we need to get away from using fossil fuels and uh, we need to move to more cleaner and sustainable sources of energy. So this involves change in every sector from what powers our cars, what heats our homes and to what generates ele our electricity. So uh, if any of you do decide to go on and study science or engineering at the third level, uh, you'll, you'll have to get familiar with renewable energy and climate change because it's very important now. Um, my friend Aiden's a bit shy, but she was wondering, <laughs> when is the sun going to die? Um, <laughs> in about 70 billion years, so yeah. nothing to worry about. 